In this video, I will improve our Save Book button to provide feedback to the users about the status of the submission. And I will also set the button uh, to reset all the fields after a book is saved in the database. Again, I don't want to implement a full features CMS uh, in this course, but I think that some of you can learn an interesting pattern from the little improvements of the books form. All right, let's get started. In order to dynamically change the save button text and color, we will add some new properties to the state in Redux. In books reducers, we add a reducer for the post book rejected action type. If you remember, we already dispatched this action type, so we don't need to modify anything in our action. In post book rejected, we will return two new properties to the state. A message with the value of the string saying, please try again, and style which will have a string value of danger. Basically, we will hook the text and style of the save button to these two parameters in the state. So if the post API will fail, the button will be rendered in red and will display a please try again uh, text. Now we will add the same two properties in post book reducer two. But in this case, the message will be saved click to continue. And the style will be success. So to get a green button. All right. Now we can go to books form and add the two new properties state in map to state to props. We will firstly use the message property to conditionally render the save button. The condition will be if not this props message. So if message is not defined, we will render save book. Otherwise the value of message we get in the state. We then conditionally render the BS style too, but this time I will use the style property in the state. Let's save and refresh. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere. Ah, yes, I brought two dots instead of three required for the spread operator in the reducer. So let's go back to reducer and quickly add one dot. Save and refresh and try to submit a new book. As you can see, after we save successfully the button, change color and text to confirm the user the submission went well and invites the user to click again in case wants to continue submitting a new book. At this point, a good UI should empty the form to allow you uh, a new submission. So go back to books form component to write a function to empty the form. In books form, I will write a function called reset form. To save some typing, I will use the find DOM node uh, method we already wrote to get the ref value from input boxes. I just removed the property. I will remove the line related to the image. And I will set uh, equal to an empty string. The only exception will be the image for which we need to reset the state of the IMG property. Inside the reset form, we will also need to dispatch an action to reset the message and style properties for the button. 
so to get the button to its initial state after the user clicks to continue. In books action, we will add a new simple action. You can just copy update books and name it reset button. This action has not any payload, but only an action type of reset button. Once you are done, you can add a simple reducer for reset button. and set the message to null and style to primary. Back in books form, we can dispatch this props reset button inside reset form function. And we need to remember to import it and to include in the bind action creator. All right, now the only things to do is to add uh, one condition in uh, on click event of the save book button. So if not a message, the on click will invoke the handle submit function. Otherwise, we'll invoke reset form function. Now save and refresh and submit a new book. After saved, the button change color and text. And when clicked again, the form is reset.